Hey everyone, welcome to The Green Room. Monique here, photographer at Silver Paw Studio. And today I am finally gonna show you how I design my printed albums. If you remember, earlier this year, we did the 10 week challenge. And the very last one was to bring all nine skills together to create a whole gallery of images. And I did that with my dog, Bailey. And my thought was to put all those together into a printed album for new samples for my studio. If you want to sell anything in your studio, you need to have samples. I love that people can touch them and hold them and turn the pages and see what the final product could be like. And mine are a little dated now, so it's time to update. I want to show you the program that I use to design the album. It's really fast and really inexpensive. And then I want to show you actually ordering it through my album printing company. You ready for this? All right, well, we're gonna turn on screen recording. Hold on, just, we'll get there, hold on. Uh, as you can see, we have this entire gallery of images of Bailey. We have her on the blue backdrop and with her lammy and the black backdrop and some flowers, like, isn't she adorable? Yes. And I wanna show you uh, real quick the website to the design company that we're using. So let me just pull that screen over here that you can see it. Do, do, do. We are using what is called Stomp software. It's super affordable. I want to say it's about $159 flat out. It's not an annual fee. Uh, take a look at this website, stompsoftware.com. I'll have a link in the description as well. If you want to add on a product called Album Proofer, it's $49 per year but it is worth it if you are trying to sell printed albums in your studio. It'll take your design and email it to your client and they go to this special website to see what the layout's gonna look like and the pages and make notes to you and then directly send you an email back to approve the album design. Very nice. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the software that we're using. So definitely check it out. It's super easy. Let's get into it. I'm back over there and we are going to get that program running. Let's open Album Stomp. All right, so we want a new album. This is gonna be Studio Sample. And Fineo is the name of the print company. So Album Stomp has all these different <laughs> print companies in here, all of these, but we're using Fineo and it just knows that because I use it all the time. And we're gonna do a playbook. All right, now we're in basically a blank canvas. And so you can see the, the left side of the page, the right side of the page up here, all these spreads are in here. Okay, so a spread is essentially two pages. What we need to do is actually take all of these pictures of Bay and drag them down into the drop images here box. So I'm just gonna select all of these. Oh, control A, and let's just drag them right down here. Okay, this is page one. So when you first open the album, I like to start on the right side and I think having her uh, smiling, oops, let's go back out of that. Smiling, we wanna just drag it, boom, there we go. And I am actually gonna make this square. And you can see you have the safety lines. Keep your pictures inside there or have a spot that it's okay that it cuts off. And then if you go to tools, I like to round the corners by about 50. And you can just type it in here also. All right. So then you can see, look at rounded corners and it's kind of popped outside that thing. So easy, right? You can add a line around it. So I could put a line around it if I wanted to. I could put color boxes, I could put text. Uh, so there's all kinds of text options in here, sizes, colors, all kinds of things. So I could put Bailey. But I never add text to client albums, so I'm not gonna add it to this album. <laughs> so let me just delete that. And then all we have to do is this little arrow here. Now I can add color to the background. I could put an image in the background. There's all kinds of things I can do in here, but this is like the super fast, easy way to do it. 
So the next page, and you can see there's a number one here. So what I'm gonna do is grab these three and drag them onto this side. And I can just, oh, I, it's not looking too bad, but I can say mix it up down here. If I wanted to do this, this whole spread, and you can see this is where the crease would be <laughs> if you chose to do this type of spread, keep that in mind. So make sure that these are zoomed out and zoomed out. This is basically the same image. I just took the little whale away. So I actually don't even want that image. So let's put this one in there. We can add or replace. So let's mix it up again. Let's see what we think of this as a two page spread. You can see how quick and easy this is. I think it's super easy. I'm gonna make this box a little bigger and just drag her down right there. And then this, she zoomed in for some reason and make that box a little bigger and then have her little eyes here. I don't think I'm in love with this layout, but <laughs> you can see how fun this is. Maybe let's do something in here. Actually, that's not too bad. Let's do this. You can see this image has been upscaled by 123%. It doesn't think it's gonna print very well. Uh, so let's make that a little bit smaller if we can. There, and then this entire thing, if I put those, round those corners, do that 50% rounded again, I really love that look and you can see how it's rounded it all over. Now, if we went up here, we can see how it's populated those two. And then I don't want, I don't really want this picture, so I'm not gonna use it but I'm gonna use all of these. And then let's say we wanted those to be on this side and we wanted with Lammy to be over here. So sometimes I just do this like this because this is better. I just throw a bunch of images in and then I go rearrange them later. And it gives me a better idea of the story that I'm telling. So I'm just gonna keep going through these. I'm just doing shift click and we're gonna do, let's say these two here. We're only on page five. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And we're gonna do these three here with her crossing her tiny, tiny paws. And we'll do these two here. Oh, we're down to the flower. So cute. Do those two. And we'll do one big image on the other side. Yep, 10. And I just added that. And then, ooh, we have more pages left. So what you're gonna find is that page 11 is actually the back page. You want 11 pages, because that's how it's gonna end up laying out. I love that as the end image. And we still have a whole spread we can fill in right here. I'm gonna finish filling this out and then I'll show you what I come up with in the end. Okay, now here, let's take a look. You can see down at the bottom here how every picture is a little bit grayed out and has a number on it, any picture that I wanted to use. You can see there's a couple in here I didn't feel like using and that's fine. Uh, if you're making a, a client album though, they choose all their images and they wanna see all the images. So make sure you put them all in there. And you can see all the spreads in here Pretty cool, huh? And go from one page to the next. You don't have to do rounded corners. There's all these things over here that I say I think that you should explore. A little bit of attitude in here. And a lot of this, I just clicked mix it up here at the bottom. You can kind of click off the, off the side here a little bit and see where all the corners are gonna be. You can see the margins and the center fold. And I'm okay with this being here. Sometimes clients won't be, so be careful of that. Did that have rounded edges? <gasps> I don't think I rounded these guys' as edges. Let's do corners 50%. There we go. We got a little bit of sweet and sour going on. <laughs> so that's it. From there, I'm gonna say stomp it. Actually, I'm gonna press this little book, uh, stomp entire album and stomp as spreads and stomp it. All right, uh, so that's going to render all those pages out and then we're gonna open up the Fineo webpage to place an order. 
Okay, so now what I've got open is all the pages that have been stomped. <laughs> so uh, here they are right here. Aren't they cute? This is that first page. First and the next spread and the spreads, okay? So we're gonna swish those off to the side. The place I use to print my albums is called Fineo. It's a US based company. I don't know where else they ship, but we've got it here. They have tons of different album options and album covers, and I am doing the playbook. So let's order a sample of this, and we're gonna do that in the five by five inch. We're gonna do one of those. And no design service, 20 sides, uh, just a plain cover with the Blueberry Hill. Nothing on the front, that's plain. You have to check all these boxes. Liner cover I want white and no ribbon. No ribbon. You can do ribbons. I don't want imprinting or studio, cover imprinting or studio imprinting. And the first page starts on the right. And so then from here, you make a new album. Uh, sample, <laughs> uh, Bailey. Oh, I do want this also white. And then sample Bailey. And then all I need to do is all of the pictures that I have over here that we stomped. We're going to select all those and put them right in here. It's going to add them in. It says this folder has images that fit your layout. Do you want us to add them? I'm like, sure. <laughs> All right, and that's how easy it is. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Look, we've got that inside page, all of the interior pages and the outside page. All we have to do now is add to cart. That is it. It took maybe 20 minutes to design the album and album stomp, and then what, five minutes to load it up into Fineo to place the order. Now, it does take about three to five days to make it and then three to five days to ship it. So I always tell my clients it's going to be at least two weeks and then um, be watching your emails. It'll tell you if they're having slow times or fast times. Now I will order this and have it sent off. And when I get it, you'll see it in my hot little hands. Ah! Okay, I just got the album. Let's, let's open it up, huh, babe? What's in here? What is it? Okay, bye. Ooh. That's loud. Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right. Bailey, you wanna see what it is? Come here, babe. Let's see. What's in here? Wow, yeah. Oh, isn't that cute? Guess what, it's pictures of you. Okay, let's take a look. Yay. All right, ooh, I really like the blue. Look at the bag and it has a little charm on it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, oh, it's so cute. Look at, it's, uh, that blueberry, I think it was, the dark blue, uh, faux leather. Very nice. Oh, Bailey, it's you, look. Look, honey. I know, look. Wow. Oh, good girl. Oh, so these turned out really, really good. Oh, look at, you're sticking your tongue out. It's so cute, Bay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay, I'll show you closer. And you can see how big the pages are. Remember, this is a five by five album. And this is where the crease is that you can see in the design program in uh, Album Stomp. So you can see the pages are stiff, but not like that first page is really, really thick, more like a wedding album. And these ones are half as thick. I think it turned out so cute, right, Bay? I love marketing this as a little brag book that you can stick in your bag uh, and take with you to show people. You can have it on your coffee table, on your bookshelf. Albums that are a little bit bigger than this, you can even put a picture on the front or a window on the front. All kinds of cover options available at Fineo. And side note, I have another set of albums on order for another client 
and it was taking a little longer than I thought. So I messaged them and they said that they had seen a defect in one of the prints and they completely reprinted it. So <laughs> they apologized for being late and said they would rush to get it to me. But I said, no, I really appreciate your attention to detail. So I'm going to get a product that I know that they have also quality inspected before they even ship it to me. So I'm pretty happy with Fineo. Really good price, really easy to order and lay out. Tons and tons of options, all kinds of cover options. I have a whole box of cover options my clients can choose from. You can get these, uh, the boxes I have on order are called Muse Box Set. So I designed the box and the album that goes in it. Generally in my studio, I have the five by five and eight by eight size albums and clients just love them. So there you go. That is all the way from the shoot, if you saw that video, to the design, to the ordering, to the product in my hands. And it's a really great presentation for your clients as well. I always put it right back in the little pouch. And oftentimes I will put it back in this box as well, but I'll take out maybe this packaging and I have paw print packaging. I can uh, paper, paw print uh, tissue paper to put in here but this also fits really nicely just like that to present it to the client or in a gift bag. So, so that's all Bailey and I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, links to the different things that we talked about, the software and the company in the description below. And as always, I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. What does that spell, Bay? Does it spell treat? <gasps> does it? Yep, we better go get a treat. <laughs> uh, see? <laughs> she loves it so much. So there we go. Wasn't that cute? Is that fun? It's just your size. Look, honey, it's you. Oh, bye.